Hello guys in this video I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. So let's start. Open VirtualBox. Now click on new. Here enter your virtual machine name. Here I am giving Kali 21.1. Now change machine type to Linux. Select version Debian 64 bit. Here we also can change machine folder. Now click on next. Here you can allocate memory to the virtual machine. Here I am giving 2500 megabytes. Now click on next. Here select second option create a virtual hard disk now. Now click on create. Here we need to select hard disk file type. Select first option. VDI means virtual box disk image. Now select dynamically allocated. Now here allocate disk size to the virtual machine. I am allocating 20 GB. Now click on create. Here our virtual machine created. Now click on settings. Now click on system. Now click on processor tab. And allocate processors I am giving 4. Now click on display section. Increase video memory to 128 megabytes or more you have. Now click on OK. Now time to start virtual machine. Now it is asking for bootable ISO file. Click on file icon. Now click on add button. Now change to file location to where you have Kali Linux installer ISO file. Select file and click open. Here choose file. Now click on start. Here sometimes you not able to use your mouse or any pointing device. So just use your keyboard. You can change selection via up or down arrow keys. Now select graphical install and press enter. Here our ISO file mounting. Here select language. Now click on continue. Here select location and continue. Here select key map as per your keyboard layout. Now click on continue. Here you need to add your server address. I don't have so I just add Kali Linux. Here if you want to change host name then change here. Don't put anything in domain name. Now click on continue. Here enter username. Now click continue. Here enter password carefully. Now click on continue. This is the partition menu. Here select first option. Guided, use entire disk. Click continue. Here select first option. Here select first option all files in one partition. Now here select last option. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Now click on continue. Here select option yes.
Now our installation started. This is the software selection menu. Here we can choose multiple tools package. I am selecting last option and click continue. In this grub bootloader section, select yes and continue. Now here select second hard disk option and continue. Our installation completed just click on continue. Virtual machine restarting. Here enter your username and password. Click on login. Here our Kali Linux started. This is the our new theme terminal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.